Hey everyone, Ronaldo Walkman here, getting geared for the upcoming Christmas season. Hopefully you guys are too. Now as the year wraps up, a lot of us, whether you're already in the school dance business or thinking about getting into it, are either formulating a business plan or reformulating it. If you're formulating your business plan, one of the things that may come to mind is trussing. Where do you want to go? Do you want to get something big? Do you want to stay simple? It doesn't matter, but the important thing is that you formulate a plan. Now, when we formed four schools only and I was trying to figure out what we wanted to do setup-wise, we knew that we were going to need the bigger uh, trussing that was still affordable. And that's where we went with the Global Trust America F34 because it holds plenty of weight. It's very versatile. I can do lots with it. And it's easy to pack up. You know, it's easy to buy accessories for. It was just a great overall solution. But not everybody's going to do the setups that we've done. You know, I've talked to plenty of DJs that tell me that they don't want to do the big setups over the dance floor. They don't want to hang video screens or some don't want to start flying trussing or running 60 foot spans, whatever. And that's perfectly fine. You got to know exactly where you want to be as far as your business goes and what's going to be the best bang for the buck. Now, if you're doing simpler truss setups, you may not want the F-34 trussing. Maybe it's above the cost of what you're wanting or maybe it's too much. Now what I mean by too much is if you're hanging, let's say, five or six LEDs and a couple moving heads, you know, hanging or doing the F-34 trussing, yeah, it looks good, but is it overkill? Maybe. Again, only you know that because it's part of your business plan. So one of the alternatives to the F-34 is its little brother, the F-24 truss. And if you look at this, which we're using right now as part of our Christmas decor, because my wife rocks like that. But if you look at the specs on the F24 trussing, it is a great contender. It can still hold quite a bit of weight. You can use it with any of the regular base plates. If you actually look at the aluminum base plates for the F34, there's a smaller set of holes, and that's for the F34 trussing as well. And almost anything that you can do with the F34, you can do with the F24 on a smaller scale, again, because of how much weight this one can hold as compared to the F34. But let's look at some of the things that this has in similar to the F-34 and why this is a great option for people that want to do nice big school dances but with a more compact appeal. So of course the most popular clamp is the 360 series. Now this of course is for the F-24. It's pretty simple. You clamp it you, or you hang your light from there and you clamp it, you're good to go. And even though this is a smaller clamp as compared to the F-34 version, it still holds 75 kilograms, which is roughly about 160 some odd pounds, 164 pounds to be exact. So this thing can still hold a light with no issue. There are multiple variants of this clamp, but let's say you're going to be hanging a moving head or, you know, you want that extra security that a trigger clamp gives you. Yes, there is a trigger clamp. Look, it's so cute. There is a trigger clamp version for the F-34 truss, and this one holds about 165 pounds, so again, about 75 kilograms as well. And again, same thing, you can easily hold it, you hang it, you lock it in, you're good to go, okay? So again, you still have that versatility where you can hang LEDs, and if you wanna use a, you know, a little bit more secure of a clamp, you can use the trigger clamp as well. Now, when I said there's quite a few variants of these as well, let's take a look at some of these. Let's see what we got here, right? Uh, first of all, again, just like if I did, if you remember, I did a video on the F-34 version of these. There is the 360 clamp, but with the half coupler on it. And this is great if you're going to be maybe building portable DJ booths, which is, a trust like this is perfect for building your portable DJ booths because you can have your totems there, and then you can put a couple of these down put another truss going across, another totem, and now you have a great dual totem setup with a uh, stick across the middle and whatever height you like so you can put your entire system. And again, because of the size of these, this is much smaller than the F-34, you can easily fit a nice setup inside your minivan even. So again, that's the 360 with the side coupler. Okay, so speaking of putting truss in together, perhaps you like using cheese burrows or swivel clums, whatever you call them. F-24 also has one. Now, these are not as heavy duty as the one for the F-34, but this still holds 165 pounds. Now, that's for each set. So that means if you're going to be, let's say, you know, using it to do a truss span right in the middle, uh, or, you know, if you're going to do something like in between or whatever you decide, and you need four of them, that's 640 pounds combined weight that it's holding, or obviously 320 if you're only using two. Whatever you design, you get my point. You can do quite a bit with it. And again, it is a little bit lighter duty, but... If you're not going to be doing these huge, giant setups, this is a perfect solution. Again, it's a little bit more compact. 
It's expandable, just like the F-34. You know, probably wouldn't recommend flying these anytime soon or hanging tons and tons of lights. And remember that when you're hanging lights, you also have to worry about cord weight and everything else because those extension cords and IECs, DMX, everything else do add to the weight. So whenever you calculate that, make sure you calculate those as well. But again, it's just a great solution. And again, this is one of the th those things that when you're building your school business, you have to ask yourself, where do I want to go? If you know 100% that you're going to go into bigger truss setups, stick with the F-34. If you're just going to do setups over your area or you're going to build basic cubes or something like that, this is a great solution. And almost everything that's available for the F-34 is available for this as well. Again, check the weight limits and look in the long run so you buy ones and you buy wisely. Now, let's say that you are going to use this trussing maybe for bridal shows or stuff to hang banners from. You know that the F-34 has tubes available, well, so does the F-34. And now this sucker is pretty long here. There's actually a swivel clamp right in the middle of it. Uh, but this is the, it's called the F-21 uh, tubing for the F-24. It says right here, system is F-21, model 2, 1.5 F-24. Uh, lots of great handy uses for this, especially because it's got a little end on each side so you can put, you know, the coupler and the pin through it. So you can use it either to hang a banner from, or maybe you're going to put it between two totems to hang a TV from. Again, let your imagination go wild. But my point being is, if it's available for the F-34, it's available for this as well. Last but not least, comes the question about how to get these up in the air. Well, you can do a goalie truss type setup, and that's where you do truss this way, then across, then down, or you can do dual totems, whatever you want to do there, or you could just use crank stands. Now, there are adapters available, just like, you know, when you use any of the ST-132s from Global Trust or the Durotrust 3800s, 4000s, 3500s. There's the adapters to get these on the trussing for the F-34. There's also some for the F-24 as well. So look on the Global Trust website and look for that. And they are cross-compatible between the Durotrust and Global Trust. For something lightweight like this, I heavily, heavily recommend the 3800s because they're lightweight, really lightweight. They're like 30 some odd pounds. They are very well affordable, and again, remember, direct drive, no winch, means that those things can virtually last you forever. So you could take maybe three of these sixes right here, or maybe just two, put them on the 3800s, uh, or if you want to get the 4000s, even though the 4000s hold a lot more weight, and they are a little bit higher in price, they're a lot shorter. So, I mean, literally, I could stand right here and just hang the lights. It's, it's great, <laughs> especially for short people like me. But if not, the 3800s are a little bit taller, but you can still easily reach them in there. So either way... Plenty of ways to get these things up in the air safely as well. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave a comment below. Again, if you want to know pricing, I'm the worst person to ask because I'm not a dealer. So contact your dealer and ask them, hey, how much can you hook me up for? And remember, subscribe, like the channel. Thank you all so much. Plenty of videos coming before Christmas break. Good night and God bless.